Hi everyone and welcome to my third book critique video. I am so excited to introduce you to all of my new friends. So let's go ahead and get started. First up for our feature book today, we have Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. Um, this would be in the genre of realistic fiction for preteens to teenagers, and it's in the top 10 best books for young adults according to the American Library Association. This book deals with themes of being yourself and not being afraid to stand out from the crowd. It also explores themes of peer pressure and shunning. So this story follows Leo, a very shy boy, and his encounters with a girl who's um, not afraid to be herself and not afraid to stand out from the crowd. And her name is Stargirl Calloway. So the first activity I have for this book is a language arts activity where students would be writing a newsletter based on the title imagined by Leo after Stargirl's appearance at Micah High. So Leo is involved in some of the media at his school and he imagines what the newspaper title would be if um, the newspapers wrote about Stargirl's appearance at Micah High. So here I have an artifact here that kind of shows what a student example might look like, but using the website S'mores, students can build their own newsletter um, and they can share it using the technology to publish this on the internet. And they can illustrate, um, for example, this photo right here from the Disney Plus feature film. All right, so our second activity would be a science activity. As I mentioned, this story is set in Micah, Arizona, which actually, according to the story, is named after a mineral found in the desert sand. So for this activity, students would create a video that describes the property and practical uses of mica. So moving on from Stargirl, we have this lovely pic picture book called Beautiful Oops. And the whole premise of the story is that mistakes are not always a bad thing. In fact, they can be beautiful things. So this is an interactive picture book that students can lift the flaps and see that Maybe a torn piece of newspaper, if you paint it, could look like a sweet little puppy dog. So this picture is great for students who maybe have issues with perfectionism or have trouble viewing mistakes as learning opportunities. Next, we have The Cajun Night Before Christmas. This is a lovely piece of poetry um, that reimagines the Night Before Christmas picture book um, as set in Louisiana. So as you can see, Santa Claus is not having a sled led by reindeer, but rather a troop of alligators. So this is a very fun um, book that you can be used to explore different cultures across the United States. Next up, we have Emmanuel's Dream. Um, and this is about a boy named Emmanuel in West Africa and how he didn't let his physical disability define him. Um, as you can see there, he has a physical disability affecting his leg, but that, of course, does not impair his ability to ride a bike. So he uses this skill to advocate for people with disabilities. This um, book, Journey, won a Caldecott Honor Book for its illustrations. And what is interesting about this book is that it is all illustrations. Um, it follows this child as he goes on a magical adventure but it is told entirely through illustrations. Other books in this trilogy involve Quest and Return. What's interesting is that it helps students build their storytelling or and visual literacy skills. This book, Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silver Silverstein is very appealing to students because students enjoy poetry that has a humorous theme to it and most of the poems and drawings from this have a humorous theme or one that is very appealing to children. All right, Dancing Hands. This is the based on a true story and it's how Teresa 
Carino played the piano for President Lincoln. Um, the illustrations in this book are beautiful and they tell the story of Teresa um, and how much she loved playing the piano, how her dancing hands, as they called them, helped bring people joy and hope. Finally, we have Where the Wild Things Are. And this is, for many people, a very classic, um, comforting book, but it tells the story of Matt and how after all day being a wild thing, his mother sends him to bed with no dinner. And he goes off, he becomes king of the wild things, and later he returns home to find that his supper is waiting for him and it is still hot. All right, so that is our final book, and I hope you have a excellent time, and I'll see you next week.